Hello, I'm Joel Hargis with the Florida Aviation Network. Today in DeLand, Florida, at the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase, and uh, it's the uh, weather's clearing up. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, and I I actually ran into a friend of mine walking around the show here today. This is Ted Lubers. Well, g glad to see you, Joel. I I'm usually behind the camera, not in front of the camera. That's exactly right, Ted. I've known Ted for years. Ted is. Uh, he is a writer for all things aviation, and uh, he, he does the photography, he does stories. How, how long have you been doing that, Ted? I've been doing it about seven or eight years. And, and what made you get into that? Well, I started with uh, EAA Chapter 534 in Leesburg, and I noticed that uh, they were doing a lot of good things, and nobody knew about it outside of the chapter members. So I figured, well, I'll volunteer and uh, do some writing. And uh, newspapers started to pick it up. And eventually, Flying Magazine started to pick it up. So I figured, well, this is a pretty good deal for the chapter. So I kept doing it. And that evolved into a, sort of a second career as uh, an aviation writer. So here I am uh, doing the DeLand Showcase, at trying to find little stories to write about and some of them will probably get published in something like General Aviation News. I hope. I'm a freelancer, so I, ne and I never know who's going to publish it. Well, I've seen many of your stories in many different publications, and you certainly are an asset to the aviation community for getting, like I say, getting the word out, right? Get, there's a lot of good things going on. So what do you have a, a niche that you like to work in? What's your favorite thing to write and get published? Well, I like to write about the young people that are getting into aviation. Um, when I was a kid, there weren't many avenues to do that. And my family didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of money. So I missed out on a lot of that. So I, I look for stor stories like uh, Rachel St. Louis that I told you about here today. And uh, the kids from the chapter that are try trying to learn how to fly. Those are the kind of stories I really like to write about. I know you've written stories about, uh, like, some race scholarship winners. That's correct. Yeah, we've, we've had three of them at the chapter that uh, were lucky enough to be winners. So the, I've had, to, had a lot to write about over there. So, Ted, are you a pilot? I, I tried. <laughs> I got a total of 15 hours, and I, I didn't start until I was 80. And... Uh, I figured it was safer for the people under me, as well as myself, to stop. So now I fly with friends. That way I don't have to pay any insurance. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you started at 80, and you started seven or eight years ago. You just kind of dated yourself. I guess I did, yeah. I tell you what. Like I say, I've, I've, known, uh, I've known Ted for a long time, and, and uh, you would never know that he's... Uh, uh, that many years young, but uh, I appreciate that. No, you you <laughs> do. You get around and and you get some help from your wife, right, Joan? Joan is my editor. So always good to have an editor. I am the world's worst speller. Oh, okay. So she's right. my copy editor. I've done a little writing myself, and a good editor <laughs> makes a good writer, right? That's you right. Need, you got to have a good editor. So uh, we're gonna get around here today. It looks like the 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 sun's gonna come out, and it's finally breaking up. Get some airplanes in and the we air. Get some planes in the air. Yes. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, it's a great to see you here. I was just delighted to see you when I walked up here this morning. Um, we're going to get around and uh, maybe we'll go check out some airplanes together. That'd be great. All right, looking forward to that. Joel Hargis with the Florida Aviation Network at the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase. Come out and see us.